G'day guys, today I've got a strategy for you that guarantees a profit, provided that you can make it to the end without running out of bankroll. This is called the Labouchere system. Now this was a strategy invented by a Frenchman in the late 1800s named Henry Labouchere. Now unlike most strategies, this one sets itself apart by setting a goal profit at the beginning of the system, thus giving it a definite endpoint. Provided that the player has enough bankroll to make it all the way to the end of the system, they're guaranteed to be walking away with the profit that they outlined initially. Now, before we get into the strategy, I need to let you guys know that this video is strictly for educational purposes only. Although this strategy helps you improve your odds, it does not mean that you're going to win against the house in the long term. No matter what strategy you use, there is no way for the player to get an advantage over the house using betting strategies alone. If you're looking for some strategies that actually have the potential to beat the house, I'll leave a link to my video below showing you how you can exploit casino bonuses. The trick with these strategies is to play for a short time, win a bit of profit, and then cash out before the casinos can get even. With that out of the way, let's get straight into the strategy. All right, to start, what we have to do first is we have to decide how much we wanna win. So for me, I'm gonna aim for $100. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna break this up into smaller numbers. So I'm going to break this up into two, three, two, three. Now, if we add those up, we get 10. So rather than working in 100, I'm just going to multiply everything by 10 just because it is a little bit easier to work with. So this is the list that we're going to use. Now, in order to make it a little bit safer, and this is completely optional, you don't have to do it. What you can do is you can include a couple zeros at the start. And this will actually make it a little bit safer and a little bit less likely for your bets to get out of hand. And you'll see why exactly in a minute. So in order to start, we have to choose how much we're gonna bet. So what we do is we take this last number on the list and we also take the first number on the list and we add them together. So you can see we've got a three and we've got a zero. So added together, that gives us three. So because we're dealing with multiples of 10, we're gonna start with 30. Now to place your bet, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it on any of these even bets down here. So it could be one to 18, you could go odd or even or red or black. Personally, I like to go with black just because it's you know my favorite to go with. It's been lucky for me in the past, but we're gonna go with black and we're gonna place a three unit bet because as you can see here, three plus zero, that's three. So we're starting with $400. I'll probably chuck a profit tracker somewhere so you guys can follow along with me, but we're gonna do this first bet. Now, depending on if we win or lose, I'll show you the next step. So we're looking for a black, we get a red. Unfortunately, we lose, now that's okay. The way this strategy works is every time we're going to lose, we're going to add whatever we just bet onto the end of our list. So because we added three, we're gonna add another three on the end of the list. Now we do the same thing. We add this number and this number, it's still three. So we place it on the same bet that we did last time and we just go again. So hopefully we get a black this time. There we go, there's a black. So now in the case of a win, we go back to our list and we actually delete the first number and we delete the last number. So that gets rid of two numbers on our list. So this means every time that we lose, we're adding one number, but every time we win, we're removing two numbers. Since there's about a 50-50 chance of winning or losing, you would expect that because we're gonna win about half the time, but we remove double the numbers, eventually we're gonna to get to a point where we have no numbers left on the list, and then that's when we walk away with our profit. So we do the next step, the three and the zero. So I'm just gonna go back here, we're gonna put another three here, and bet again. And you can see the benefit of putting the zeros at the start, that keeps our bet low initially. That, that prevents us from getting off on a bad streak straight away. So we win again, there we go. So we're gonna delete this number and we delete the first number. So now we have two, two. So two and two combined, that gives us four. So times it by 10, that gives us 40. I place 40 on black and we bet again. And we get a black, thankfully. So we have one number now left on our list. We have 30 dollars because we don't have any other number so we just bet that one number alone and if we manage to win this one then boom that's it list complete we can get rid of that number and if you look down here we now have an extra hundred dollars and the strategy is as simple as that well that went well for me but unfortunately it doesn't always go this well that's where some of the variations of this system can come in handy so let's take this list for example here 
Say that we were playing and we just put a 12 plus 2, so a 14 unit bet on black and we just lost. What we would do is we would add 14 to the end of our list. Now personally, 14 is the cutoff point for me. However, if you find a different number works better for you, then you can use a different number. But if for me, if it goes above 14, what I then do is I then take that number and I will take it off and I will then create a new list with new numbers that adds up to it. So for example, if we go two, five, two, so that's seven, so that's 10, and then we go two, two. So this new list adds up to 14. So what we can begin to do is we will play two games simultaneously. We'll play this game when we have 12 plus two. So we'll place another 14 unit bet on black. And if it loses, then we can split it up. And then for the other case, we take two plus two and we place it on any one of the other even bets. So that could be high or low, or that could be odd or even. Essentially by splitting up your games like this, what you're doing is you're reducing the chance of a losing streak of a single even bet wiping out your entire bankroll in just a few spins.